Welcome back. It is back to the classroom for kids all across the valley, but some high school juniors and seniors are gearing up for college. Yeah, and to get there, many will need to take the ACT. 48's Claudia Peppenhorst joins us live in studio. And Claudia, some big changes are coming for this college admissions test. Yeah, that's right. ACT officials announced this summer that the test is evolving to give students more flexibility when it comes to their test taking. Those changes include a shorter test and making the science section optional for students students. ACT officials say these changes come as a way to help modernize the test as well as ensure that students have a reportable score that accurately shows their college readiness. Currently, the ACT is three hours long. The new test will last only two hours. Both reading and English will have 44 fewer questions altogether. This allows students more time to answer each individual question. As for science, students can now choose whether they want to take it. Like writing, the section is optional. Ashley Grove with the learning team says now the big question among educators is how this will impact college admissions. Well, it was a bit of a surprise, I will say, and a lot of college counselors and colleges are now scrambling a bit because when these test makers make these changes, that doesn't mean that they line up with what colleges are going to do. Grove says we probably won't know how this will impact college admissions until next year, but she expects most colleges will encourage students to take the science section, especially if they're aiming for a scholarship. Now, before your high school senior gets too excited about these changes, these test adaptations will not apply to this year's college hopefuls. The changes to the online test will roll out in spring of 2025. State and district testing won't see these changes until 2026. Haley.